Up for sale now Vehicle Max of a beautiful 2009 BMW X5 3.0 all-wheel drive. White on the outside with tan leather interior. Completely loaded up with factory navigation, factory panoramic moonroof, front and rear parking sensors, and a third row seat, which is uh, it's not a common option in this vehicle. Factory running boards. Clean title, of course. <coughs> We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the homepage is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Bridgestone Dweller tires that are not new, but they're still in good shape. They definitely don't need to be replaced. Tire pressure monitoring sensors. Four-wheel disc brakes, anti-lock brakes. We're going to finish going around so you can see that the car has no damage, no dents, no hill, no hill damage, no lug bug damage, no major scratches or touch-ups. Let's go ahead and get inside and get it started for you. It's also on the handles, it's a little bit hard to see, but down here, you got like a puddle of lighting here, uh, which is like a, like the xenon, that blue tint on all four doors. So, uh, and uh, during the day like now, you, it really doesn't uh, give it its justice. At night, <coughs> it really kind of points out, uh, you can see where the door handle is and also lights up the floor so you don't step in any puddles. That's why they call it puddle lighting. Okay, the door panels are tan with black up in the top with wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, cruise control, tilt wheel, power seat, power recliner, memory for up to two drivers, and lumbar support and side skirt support. Automatic headlights that come out of sunset and come off of sunrise. Power tilt wheel. And it's also, I believe, telescopic. Meaning it comes out toward you or you can push it away from you. All right, let me go ahead and get inside and get it started for you. Okay. All right, you put the key in the ignition in the slot here and then you step on the brake and hit the push button start. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's put on the air conditioning. And we'll put it now too high so you can hear me talk. Okay. Let's go one more notch higher. All right, there's your navigation. And let's put it in reverse. And there is your color backup camera with parking guidelines. And let's put it now back in park. Pressing that button. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the moonroof. It is the uh, panoramic moonroof that pretty much encompasses the whole roof. It has a power shade. The front portion of the moonroof, which is this one here, opens up and slides back. The rear portion is just for the rear row passengers to look out of. It does not slide. Okay, actually I think it can go a little further back. There we go. It's got like two positions, but it's uh, really, really big. Uh, okay, uh, we got also uh, curtain side airbags. The car has 71,000, uh, let's see here, 897 miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine, 3.0 liter V6. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that it's running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The only light that you see up there, it's a seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. Alright, uh, right on top there it's got the outside temperature. Um, the actually uh, the, the time needs to be programmed, it just hasn't been programmed. Shows you that we're in parking, okay, and I think got 70 miles to empty. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see what else we got here to show you. Okay, by the way, you got dual climate control. I got both sides right now at 60, but I'm gonna put, let's say the passenger side at 66. And all that really does is it makes the AC vents on this side of the vehicle blow at 66. Well, this one here and this one here blows at 60. Let's put it back down. 
All right, you got a six disc CD changer, and let's go ahead and put on some music. You can raise, I think you can raise it and lower the volume right here. Yes, lower right here, okay. These buttons here are to navigate by your preset stations. Uh, you got voice command here, and also once you pair your phone, you will control it right here. Uh, you got um, well, you see an uh, automatic transmission, but it also has the manual shifting mode. So once you put it in drive, you can make it shift manually by. Uh, actually, I've never put these in uh, drive, so let's put it in drive. And I think now you push the lever over. There you go. You push the lever over to the left, and now you have um, uh, you have the plus and minus there. So you tap up to shift down, and tap and push it back to shift up. That doesn't interest you, you just push it back down to the right and once you're in drive the transmission does all the, all, all the shifting for you. Let's put it in park. Just back in menu here. Okay, uh, you got an electronic parking control here. You pull it up to engage and step on the brake and push down to disengage. Okay. Um, this slot here you can use it for like your phone or for coins and stuff like that. And then you pull this back here for uh, your cup holders and your cigarette lighter which doesn't even have cigarette lighter and if you look at it, it looks like it's never even been used you know so um, let's go ahead and close this up here your main glove box it's uh, over here press there to open okay and to close you close it manually sorry I was pointing at the wrong place okay let's pan over the passenger steering area now so you can see it's in great shape no cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no stains. All right, um, you got an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up in the center right here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. On the upper right hand corner, you got a compass that lets you know that we're pointing heading in the east direction. And below it, you got those three buttons there. That's what we call either the home link or a universal garage door opener, or you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Up in the top here you got map lights, uh, I believe you get vanity mirrors with lighting When you slide this, this light comes up and when you push it down here or close it, it turns off. Alright, I think we're ready to move on to the, by the way the power windows are one touch and all that means is that you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down or up for that matter. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, turn off the car and move on to the passenger section of the vehicle. Okay, to turn off the car, you simply just press stop here. You don't have to hold the switch. To release the key, you push it, and then pull it out. All right, let's move on to the mid and third row section of the vehicle. The door panels have storage pockets here on the side for like magazines, maps, wallet or purse, whatever fits on there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, rear door panels are the same as in the front, except they have side shades which you can, um, they attach to these little anchors here. They're manual, they're not electric. You push up here and release, and they retract down and get out of your way. Okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them up here. All right, and you engage them on those anchors there. Okay, um, this vehicle is also equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that works. Push that little lever down, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's gonna open is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers and bring your kids, just push it up and this handle starts working again. In the back of the center console you get AC vents for the um, uh, mid-row passengers as well as another side of AC vents on both sides here, through here. <coughs> the mid-row passengers can control the AC back here, they can control the temperature uh, and also the fan speed here and um, it's either side here you can control it here also. Okay, uh, this cigarette lighter adapter, you got a little storage down underneath there. It does have uh, anchors for your baby car seat. There are two on each side, so you can fasten on your baby car seat to that. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down here and use it as an armrest, and it also has a uh, cup holder. Okay, up in the top here, you got uh, map lights and also got uh, more curtain side airbags here. Now you can flip the seat down also to get access to the third row. I forget which handle it is you pull. Now this is the slide, okay? And this is the handle that you wanna use to get back here. And then you push it down here. And then if you wanna slide back, push it back like that. And then this one here is to fold it down, okay? In case you wanna go into cargo mode 
you pull up in this here and then it folds down okay and as you can see they're independent from each other uh, you can do one side and not the other uh, actually I don't think I give you a look at the third row seat here you back here you're gonna you're gonna want to put kids back here this is only for two passengers so you got a total of seven two in the front three in the middle is five and two more is seven and they all have over the shoulder belt including the rear row passenger which is those belts that come off the corner there and over there all right let's come back here to the cargo area by the way all the headlights and taillights are in perfect shape they're not damaged or scuffed in any way all the emblems are nice and clean you got a rear wiper the little orange lines here these are the ones that are the foggy rig glass okay um, let's go ahead and open up back here it is a power tailgate as you can see and you can open it by pressing the switch there as long as the vehicle is unlocked all right let's go uh, by the way you also have in, uh, in your in your key here you can also open the power tailgate by pressing here all right now this third row seat these uh, headrests can actually be lifted up and they lock down in this position in case you want to put a bigger kid or an, or, or an adult back here. I mean, you got room here for an adult. You just wouldn't want to put the biggest of your adults back here. And these will flip, will fold down. To fold them down, you do have to squeeze here and push this down here. And then you can, actually that seat needs to slide. You can need to pull a handle up there, slide the seat just a hair forward so this can complete the, the uh, flat motion. As, remember, I, I, um, when I pulled up in this handles here, we were able to slide this, the base of the seat forward and back. And to lay these down completely flat, that seat needs to go up just a hair. Okay, and, uh, and again, as you can see, they're independent from each other. You can do one side and not the other. So if you had to put a bo big box here, you still need the sitting capacity over here. It's not a problem because the belt comes off the shoulder here anyway. And the other belt comes off right here. All right, um, and then this also opens up. Okay. It's like a two-piece tailgate. This portion down here is not electric. The portion up in the top is. All right. Like I was saying before, you got parking sensors in the rear bumper, and it's also some in the front bumper as well. Those are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object. Right rear door panel. Same way, it also has the shade, the manual shade. Give you a look at the headliner from a different angle here. This is in good shape, no cuts, no tears, no burn holes. And again, you get the little lights on this side here as well. Right front door panel. Power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. Not only on the driver's side, but as you can see on the passenger side. Pan over the seating area one more time before we conclude the video. You've also got side airbags here. Okay, let me see if this got side airbags back here. You may have some here too, or that's just the only one. Yeah, that's your side, that's the same airbag over here, and it has that on both front seats. Okay, uh, before we conclude this video, I wanna to talk to you about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, you see a silver tab that says, uh, you see a tab up in the top, sorry, we just changed website settings. Uh, it's just up in the top, but it's not a silver tab. It just says apply for credit or financing. I can't remember which. Just click on that, and then that'll take you to a secure online credit application. You fill that out completely click submit at the bottom of the page and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved that's going to do it for the video in this unit i want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net